The Battle of Gettysburg lasted from July 1st to 3rd, 1863. It's one of the most famous battles of the Civil War because it kept the Confederate Army from advancing to the north. Over 51,000 soldiers died or were wounded, captured, or went missing. Visitors flocked to the town of Gettysburg to remember the impact of this battle and the war it was part of. Its history is undeniable and on display in museums and historic buildings. Gettysburg also has plenty to offer modern visitors. Come for the battlefield, but stay for the delicious restaurants, large downtown, and beautiful covered bridges. Keep watching to learn about the best things to do in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. National Military Park this 9,000-acre battlefield became a national park full of monuments. It's now one of the most famous spots that attracts visitors to the town of Gettysburg. There are three main exhibits at the Visitor Center, a 12-gallery museum called A New Birth of Freedom, a 30-minute film narrated by Morgan Freeman, and a giant painting known as the Cyclorama that illustrates Pickett's Charge. You can take a tour of the battlefield in a car, bus, or Segway, but guided walking tours cost less than three tickets on a bus tour. Little Round Top this is another important Civil War battle site that doesn't get as much attention. It's still worth visiting because it has interesting statues and beautiful views and is a perfect photo spot. Gettysburg Museum of History This museum celebrates the entire history of Gettysburg from ancient times to the Civil War and beyond. It fills its small space with over 4,000 artifacts, including the Confederate flag used in the first battle of Bull Run, Lincoln's wallet, the head of an Egyptian mummy, and more entrance is completely free. You can also visit the on-set shop to buy authentic artifacts like Civil War bullets, presidential campaign items, and ancient Roman coins. Seminary Ridge Museum Seminary Ridge sits to the west of town and was an important part of the first day of Battle of Gettysburg. The museum highlights it with four floors full of artifacts, signs, and impressive dioramas. Gettysburg Heritage Center this is one of the best things to do in Gettysburg if you want an interactive Civil War experience. One of the best parts is the simulated cellar. A few areas of the museum are too disturbing for small children, but the rest are educational and worthwhile. Gettysburg Diorama This must-visit destination is actually the largest military diorama in the U.S. It's a miniature version of the real 6,000-acre battlefield and features over 20,000 soldiers, buildings, horses, cannons, and other components. If that's not impressive enough, make sure to see the 30-minute show where everything is lit up with sound effects and narration. Civil War Trails this is one of the best things to do in Gettysburg because it's one of the most interesting, but manages to be just as educational as any other attraction. It has the Civil War battle dioramas you'd expect to see with a twist. All the soldiers are replaced with miniature cat figurines. It's a charming stop for history buffs, cat lovers, and anyone else. The Eisenhower House Former President Dwight D. Eisenhower bought this 230-acre farm home for weekend visits in 1950. He lived out his retirement in it until he died in 1969, and his wife Mamie died in 1979. It sits right next to the battlefield and contains all of his original furnishings. You'll find a skeet shooting range, golf carts, a station wagon, and his limo sitting in the garage. It also hosts animal habitats, and 700 of its mighty acres are open. There's also a reception center with exhibits about his life. Jenny Wade House Gettysburg was one of history's bloodiest battles, but it only took the life of one civilian. Her name was Mary Virginia Jenny Wade. She died from a Confederate bullet while kneading bread on July 3, 1863, the final day of the battle. This house honors her legacy, even though it technically belonged to her sister. You can even see the original door with the bullet hole from the shot that killed her. Most of the furnishings are original and there are plenty of artifacts as well. Go on a tour to learn about her life and the impact the war had on civilians. The Shriver House This restored building belonged to the Shriver family, George, Hattie, and their two daughters. It was used as a home, saloon, bowling alley, and hospital throughout the war. It was temporarily taken over by the Confederates and at least two soldiers died in the attic. The house is now full of artifacts like bullets and medical supplies. The tour guides will take you through while dressed in period-appropriate costumes, and the current owner also gives tours. David Will's House Abraham Lincoln stayed here while he gave the Gettysburg Address in November 1863. The National Park Service opened it to the public in 2009. It has exhibits that celebrate the community, but two rooms have been restored to their original look, including Lincoln's bedroom. Dobbin House Tavern 
This building was completed in 1776, making it one of the oldest in Gettysburg. It's been a stop on the Underground Railroad and a Civil War field hospital. Today, Dobbing House houses a bed and breakfast, two restaurants, and a store. Tours are free, and you can spend the night here if you'd like. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like, and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already, and stick around for more of the best of Gettysburg. Ghost Tours You can't mention Gettysburg without also mentioning ghosts. The battles were so bloody that it's often considered one of the most haunted areas of the world. There are several tour companies to choose from, with adventures ranging from easy walks to longer adventures with electronic ghost detectors. Food Tours the Savor Gettysburg Food Tour takes you downtown to sample some of the town's best places to eat while learning a bit about the history of the area. You'll sample plenty of local specialties such as homemade ice cream and soup. It lasts three hours with less than a mile of walking. Wineries and Breweries Four Score Beer Co. has some great drinks, including the Creamsicle Blueberry Cobbler and Four S'mores Imperial Stout. It also has a full menu of burgers, sandwiches, and other foods to help your drink go down. Center Square Brewing and Thirsty Farmer Brew Works offer regular trivia nights and other special events, and you can sample their wares at their tasting room in Biglerville. Mason Dixon Distillery is run by a father-son team who make everything with local ingredients. They offer vodka, whiskey, gin, rum, and an extensive collection of cocktails. They also have a full-service restaurant with a large and delicious menu. Reed's Winery has cider in addition to its wine selection, and you can try them all at the Buddy Boy Winery Tasting Room. If you want to see the best wine the town has to offer, try the Adams County Pour Tour. You'll get stamps for every winery or brewery you visit, and can win prizes based on how many you get. Hollabaugh Brothers Gettysburg is the largest apple-growing region in Pennsylvania. Hollabaugh Brothers is one of the best places to get them because it's located in Adams County, the heart of apple country. It has regular fruit festivals, cooking and canning classes, and more. Mr. G's Ice Cream This place has over 16 homemade flavors made with local ingredients, including fruit from Hollabaugh Brothers. They include red velvet, Snickers, salted caramel, and more. Mr. Ed's Elephant Museum Half of this building is an elephant museum with over 12,000 items including figurines, toys, and political items. The other half is a shop full of delicious fudge, roasted peanuts, and over 700 types of old-time candy. New Oxford Visit the antiques capital of south-central Pennsylvania if you want a rare find. The area has a range of stores and is the perfect place to find a souvenir. You can also visit Christmas House, a shop full of thousands of holiday items imported from Germany. Downtown Strolling downtown is one of the best things to do in Gettysburg because of the impressive amount of options it offers. It has over a hundred stores to browse, but a lark for unique gifts, Gallery 30 for jewelry and crafts, Nerd Herd for games and kits, or the Chocolate Market for a delicious treat. The downtown area also allows you to continue learning about Gettysburg's history. Several historic buildings still show signs of battle damage. The David Wills House sits right on the square. Sachs and Jack's Mountain Covered Bridges Pennsylvania has over 200 covered bridges, but only four are still standing. Gettysburg houses two of them. The Sachs Covered Bridge was built by local architect David Stoner in 1852. It was crossed several times by Confederate and Union soldiers during the Civil War. It also played a part in letting Lee's troops escape on July 4, 1863. Today, couples enjoy its romantic atmosphere. It serves as a popular photo spot and part of many ghost tours. Jack's Mountain Covered Bridge was built in 1890 and is the only one in Pennsylvania you can still drive across. It's also the only one that has a traffic light at each end. Liberty Mountain Resort This is one of the best things to do in Gettysburg if you're visiting in the winter. It's not the most challenging ski resort in the world, but it does have plenty of trails for skiing, snowboarding, and tubing. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites in Gettysburg? Let us know in the comment section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.